Hi, I just want to give an update on the Michael Walker case. That's the AR-15 open carry case out of Putnam County, West Virginia. If you haven't watched the video, watch the video. Uh, it's, it's on for oral arguments before the Fourth Circuit remotely on March 10th at 2 o'clock p.m. So it's coming up soon, and it's going to be an important case if you're in the Fourth Circuit. So Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. Because at issue before the court is whether... AR-15 style rifles are going to get disparate treatment under the law. Unlike shotguns, rifles, or handguns, they're going to be declared to be, if they get their way, uh, you know, the scary, evil black rifle, the tool of the, the mass murderer. Should that be allowed by law enforcement? Or if ARs are legal for whatever use, including open carry, then the police can't assume that individuals are breaking the law without reasonable suspicion that they're breaking the law. Really, it had nothing to do with the AR-15, and they made it about the AR-15, and this is why it's being appealed. These are some of the things that they said in, in their paperwork, in their briefing. An AR-15 has more killing power and is more commonly used in indiscriminate public gun violence than many more commonplace sporting or self-defense weapons and therefore raises a greater concern for public safety in context. They also said that um, where he had the AR-15 was a suburban residential and commercial area which is unsuitable for hunting and target shooting. And Mr. Walker was not wearing any items of blaze orange or anything else which would signal to an observer that his intention was hunting. Or, they also said, nor is an AR-15 a weapon commonly used for hunting, such as a deer rifle or a shotgun or carried for self-defense, such as a handgun possessed by Mr. Troop in the black case. They also said that carrying an AR-15 style rifle would allow him to fire on people in much the same way that many American soldiers and Marines would fire their M16s and M4 rifles in combat. They compared him to possibly being a mass shooter because there was a school a mile down the road. They said that he was a greater danger to public safety than would be more commonplace, less powerful than you'd have with more commonplace, less powerful, lower capacity firearms such as shotguns or handguns. They also said that revolvers and bolt action deer rifles do not share that infamy. It's therefore reasonable to infer that a person attempting to copycat a mass shooting would likely use the weapon of choice of mass shooters. If officers are concerned about a potential mass shooter, Certainly, they would justifiably be more concerned by a person carrying an AR-15 than one of the many firearms more commonly used for hunting or self-defense. So that was the outrageous argument by the defendants in this case. What they're trying to do here is get the Fourth Circuit to overrule one of the best firearms cases we have here in the Fourth Circuit, and that's United States versus Black, which holds that where a state permits its citizens to open carry firearms, just that fact without more does not allow the police to stop and detain those individuals, run a background check on them, and so forth. What law enforcement is trying to do here is claim that except and unless they have an AR-15 draped over their shoulder, because that's the tool of mass murder and they're not used for hunting, of course, which is BS, and uh, the hunting, hunting has nothing to do with the, the uh, Second Amendment and open carry rights anyways. Um, but because of that, and the AR-15 is so bad, and it's a scary black rifle, that there should be a giant exception for ARs out of U.S. versus black. So we really uh, want the Fourth Circuit just to uphold its own its own precedents, its own legally binding precedent. Um, if, in case you haven't seen the video, I'll leave you with a, a snapshot of it, and uh, please follow along on on March 10th at two o'clock for oral arguments. And we're really looking forward to it. Up to here with this, I don't have to answer any fucking questions or whatnot. You make it more fucking difficult for anybody to do their damn job out here. I'm just wondering what you have. I'm not going to take it from you at it, this point. It doesn't matter what it, I have. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not committing listen any to crime. Me. I like guns too. I'm just kind of curious what you like to carry. I'm making small talk. Okay? You can do this bullshit all you want. And I fucking can't stand cocksuckers that do this kind of shit that make it more difficult. I don't have to answer questions. You know what? That's all I hear all goddamn day. That's not my fault, sir.
It is your fault. No, it's not. Because you cocksuckers start it. I ask you for ID. When a law enforcement officer asks you for ID, it's not, I don't have to provide it. It's, here it is, sir, because by law, you fucking got to give it when you are asked for it. And if you think you don't press the issue, we'll find out. I'll hook you, book you, jam you in the jail. Then you can answer to a goddamn judge. I...